Watch me Dancing in the colors lightning Blowing up a thunder Watch it over me, yeah We got everything we need right here Hey there and thank you so much for watching So today's video is a pamper routine and I want it to be more interactive and more chit chatty so it's gonna be a chit chat pamper routine this is my Sunday self-care routine I try to do this at least once a month but the last couple of months literally like four or five have just totally escaped me I've been trying to do a little bit of self-care here and there but I totally need a full day full night pamper routine to just reset. I definitely can tell when I need one because my mood is just so different. I don't have as much self-confidence. I don't feel so great about myself. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are new to my channel, then hello and welcome. My name is Janella Rose and I film all different types of videos. So there's definitely a video for you on my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let's get started. So the first thing I do for my Sunday self-care routine is I like to take off all of my makeup and put it on a mask. And I've been really loving this Clinique Take the Day Off one. This takes off your makeup amazingly, like waterproof mascara, eyeliner. So after I take all of my makeup off, I like to go in again with another cleanser. And I love this one by Tula. This is their purifying face cleanser. It literally makes your face feel so clean and smooth. To wash my face, I'm using this Foreo Luna Fofo. I'll have this link down below. I got it in my FabFitFun, um, but I love this to wash my face. So what I do is I take the cleanser and put that all over my face. I just rub it in like that, and then I'm gonna take my Fofo and moisten it a little bit. So another cleanser that I've been adding to my chain lately is this Better Skin Co. Better Skin Lava Magic. It's a 3-in-1 cleanser, scrub, and a mask. Guys, I wish you could like feel my skin right now. It feels so soft. Like, it is ridiculous how soft my skin feels. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm gonna hop into the shower and wash my hair. Um, I like to just take a little shower and wash my hair first before getting in the tub. For today, I just really wanna take care of my scalp. I feel like I haven't lately is I'm gonna go in with this Shea Moisture. Um, this is their Bamboo Charcoal Pre Shampoo Scalp Scrub. And then if I feel like I need to go in a second time with another scalp cleanser, I really love this one from Diva Curl. It's their Build Up Buster. what's left in the container I like to just put all over my neck out of the bath I took a quick shower to rinse off my hair and I took my face mask off after about 15 minutes or so so now I'm going to finish up my skincare 
and then I'm going to apply an essence first before I apply my serum. I typically like to go from like lightest to thickest in consistency. So I'm gonna use this Cozarex Snail Mucin um, Power Essence. This is kind of like a thicker essence than what I typically have. I really like this uh, Peach and Lily Well Do Treatment Essence. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a toner first. This is the Cozarex AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. And I'm just gonna pat that into my skin. Now I'm gonna go in with my essence. I love this hydration cream mask. You can leave it in for about five minutes or so, or you can leave it on all night, which is what I typically will do. You can definitely tell the difference when you apply it. It makes your face feel so soft and supple, and it just really locks in all of the products that you just put on your face, creating like a barrier between your pillow and all of that. I'm gonna go in with a lip mask. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and this makes your lips feel so good. And I've been using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil for my brows. Um, so I'll just take a little bit on my fingers. It makes your brows super sticky. All right, so my face is all done. I'm gonna move into finishing my hair. And that mask makes my hair feel so, so, so good. Um, and also this is soaking wet, so it absorbed a lot of that moisture. And what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna put in a leave-in conditioner while I part my hair and detangle and then prep it for style tomorrow. What I typically will do is put my hair in a bunch of like little tiny braids so it's nice and stretched and it can dry overnight. And tomorrow I will do kind of like a heatless blowout. But my go-to is this main choice 3-in-1 revitalizing and refresh conditioner. Oh, one more thing. Sometimes when I'm in the tub, what I will do is I'll put my face mask on as well as a pressed white strip. And I totally forgot to do it. So I'm going to do it now while I'm doing my hair for the next like 30 minutes or so. So it's been a while later, my nails are all done. I decided to do the white on my toes, but then I did like an ombre rose gold glitter on my nails and I cut them into an oval shape. So that pretty much concludes my self-care pamper routine. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was a little bit different, a little more informal, but I just want to just get content out for you guys and make it less produced, more like real and raw and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I hope to see you in a couple of days in a brand new video. Bye guys.